Andorra claims it is the last independent survivor of the Marca Hispanica, the buffer states created by Charlemagne to keep the Islamic Moors from advancing into Christian France. Tradition holds that Charlemagne granted a charter to the Andorran people in return for their fighting the Moors. In the 9th century, Charlemagne's grandson, Charles the Bald, named the Count of Virgil as overlord of Andorra. A descendant of the Count later gave the lands to the Diocese of Virgil, headed by Bishop of Virgil. Early history in the 11th century, fearing military action by neighboring lords, the bishop placed himself under the protection of the Lord of Cabet, a Catalan nobleman. Later, the Count of Foy became heir to the Lord of Cabet through marriage, and a dispute arose between the French Count and the Catalan bishop over Andorra. In 1278, the conflict was resolved by the signing of a pariage which provided that Andorra's sovereignty be shared between the Count of Foy and the Bishop of Lares E.U. Dergel. The Pariage, a feudal institution recognizing the principle of equality of rights shared by two rulers, gave the small state its territory and political form. In return, Andorra pays an annual tribute or questia to the co-rulers consisting of four hams, 40 loaves of bread, and some wine. As of the year 2012, Andorra's borders have remained unchanged since 1278. Andorra was briefly annexed to the crown of Aragon twice, in 1396 and 1512. In 1505, Germain of Foy married Ferdinand V of Castile, thereby bringing the lordship of Andorra under Spanish rule. On taking over the kingdom in 1519, Emperor Charles V granted the lordship of Les Valls, as it was then known, to Germain of Foix's line in perpetuity. Henry III of Navarre, who was also Count of Foy, in 1589 ascended the French throne as Henry IV, and by an edict of 1607 established the head of the French state, along with the Bishop of Virgil, as co-princes of Andorra. In 1793, the French Revolutionary government refused the traditional Andorran tribute as smacking of feudalism and renounced its suzerainty. Despite the wish of the Andorans to enjoy French protection and avoid being under exclusively Spanish influence, Andorra remained neutral during the Napoleonic Wars. Napoleon restored the Cote Principality in 1806 after the Andorans petitioned him to do so. French title to the Principality subsequently passed from the kings to the President of France. In the period 1812-13, the French Empire annexed Catalonia and divided it in four departments. Andorra was also annexed and made part of the district of Puig 20th century. In 1933, France occupied Andorra as a result of social unrest before elections. On July 12, 1934, an adventurer named Boris Skaserov issued a proclamation in Urgil, declaring himself Boris I, sovereign prince of Andorra, simultaneously declaring war on the Bishop of Urgil. He was arrested by Spanish authorities on July 20 and ultimately expelled from Spain. From 1936 to 1940, a French detachment was garrisoned in Andorra to prevent influences of the Spanish Civil War and Franco's Spain. During World War II, Andorra remained neutral and was an important smuggling route from Spain into France. The French resistance used Andorra as part of their route to get down them and out of France. In 1943, Andorra carried out its first execution since the 19th century, that of Antony Arenas for double fratricide by firing squad. In 1958, Andorra declared peace with Germany, having been forgotten on the Treaty of Versailles that ended World War I and the conflict being extended by the lack of a peace treaty, remaining legally at war, long an impoverished land having little contact with any nations other than adjoining France and Spain. Andorra after World War II achieved considerable prosperity through a developing tourist industry. This development, abetted by improvements in transport and communications, has tended to break down Andorra's isolation and to bring Andorans into the mainstream of European history. 
Public demands for democratic reforms led to the extension of the franchise to women in the 1970s and to the creation of new and more fully autonomous organs of government in the early 1980s. Modern history. Andorra formally became a parliamentary democracy in May 1993, following approval of a new constitution by a popular referendum in March 1993. The new constitution retained the French and Spanish cop princes although with reduced and narrowly defined powers. Civil rights were greatly expanded including the legalization of political parties and trade unions, and provision was made for an independent judiciary. Andorra entered into a customs union with the European communities in 1991 and was admitted to the UN on 28 July 1993. The country has been seeking ways to improve its export potential and increase its economic ties with its European neighbours. The financial services sector of the economy is highly important, given Andorra's status as a tax haven and its banking secrecy laws.